this this is a demo I made pretty early on, and I was kind of copying something uh, that was made in Cinema 4D. I thought it would be cool if Flexon could could give you some of the same visual effects capabilities that Cinema 4D can do. Um, and so, uh, basically, what you have here is is a bunch of objects that are kind of in some sort of position, um, and they are being disturbed by this glassy object in the middle. Um, and after the disturbance goes away, when the object moves away, they kind of go back to where they're supposed to be. So how does that work? Um, let's break it down. So let's start with this glass ball. It's very simple. It's just a sphere collider, uh, and it's got this little script on it that's going to move it back and forth. That's really all there is to the sphere, to the ball. Then we've got this uh, flexible layout that contains all of the balls. And so let's remove all the fanciness from this thing um, and see what we get. So let's start by oops, going to the flexible layout. Let's disable these extra components. We have to remove it. And you can see this is just a flexible layout that's laying things out in a uh, line, stacking objects one after the other. And if I increase the gap, you can kind of see them a little bit better. But I want the objects to overlap a bit, so that's why I reduced the gap to a negative number, because that gives me a more interesting effect. Um, then I want to modify their positions, and there's two scripts here that help with that. Uh, first, there is this. Um, this script is not in the package. Um, I'm happy to share it, but I didn't think it was quite up to quality to put it, include it in the package. But all it does is it uh, modifies some property on all the children. In this case, I'm modifying the width randomly um, before doing anything. So uh, when I enable that, you can see now their widths are random. Um, then I could also use that same component to modify their positions, but instead I wanted to use the flex random modifier, which is included in the package. Uh, which you can then use to say, I want to modify after the layout finishes, after they've all been placed in this line, I want to modify something about their position and their rotation. So in this case, let's, I want them to move up and away. So I'm going to modify their Y and Z axes. Um, let's say from negative one to one. And you can see they're kind of all spaced out. But I want to be more squished than this, uh, so I'm going to go back to the flexible layout, reduce the gap a bit more, and that's it. Now, if you just did this, that's very nice, but the ball, the, the glass ball wouldn't interact with the children. And so, uh, how do I do that? So if you go to any one of these child children, you'll see, that for one, they have a rigid body and a sphere collider. Um, and if that's all they had, then you'd get something like this. Let's remove this. You can see that the, the glass ball is pushing them away and they're kind of flying off into the distance until it no longer is touching them. And so the effect that we want is that they kind of almost magnetically get pulled back into their uh, layout positions that they started off with. And so that's where the Flexilon rigid body animator comes in. That's that third animator that I talked about at the beginning. And if I add this component, let's increase the, the, the position force a little bit, uh, it's going to, every frame, add, I think, 10 units of force to the objects and five units of rotational force to the objects to push them towards their correct positions. So now you get something like this again. Uh, this does take a little bit of uh, fiddling around with to get it right. And the reason is because all this is doing is applying a force. Um, if you just apply a force, the objects will just fly past their final layout positions and, and kind of bounce back and forth uh, and so what you really want them is to kind of slow down when they get closer. Um, and so you want to add some sort of drag. Uh, you can see there's a drag on the rigid bodies. There's an angular drag. And then you want to mess around with the material on the collider 
uh, to add some friction as they move past each other so that they roll and not just bounce like, um, because it typically a sphere doesn't roll when it hits, a perfect sphere does not roll when it hits other objects. So if you want them to roll around, you need to add some sort of friction so that when they touch each other, they kind of roll around each other. Um, add some bounciness, you know, so you have to mess with these values a little bit to get the feeling to be whatever you want it to be. But the, the core of it is if you want the objects to move back to their uh, original positions using forces, use the, the Flexilon rigid body animator.